I'm Samantha Rowan, and this is Refi TV. Our guest today is Jacob Friedman, chairman of United Realty Partners, which is a newly formed investment and advisory company. Thank you very much for being here today, Jacob. Thank you for having me. United Realty Partners is a brand new company. Um, can you tell me about what led you to put it together? Sure. As I think you know, um, United Realty Partners was founded by myself and Ellie Verschleiser. And both of us have been investing and advising on real estate for many years. And we think we're very close to a unique, almost once in a generation, maybe once in a lifetime opportunity in real estate investing. And so we wanted to join forces, bring the two teams together uh, for two purposes. One, to uh, raise capital both uh, privately through our merchant banking activities and for our clients and also by sponsoring public real estate investment trusts so that we can invest in what we think will be uh, a tremendous opportunity for real estate investment within the next 12 to 18 months. Is this because of all the loan maturities that are going to be happening during that time? Yeah, I think the loan maturities that we're seeing uh, is one of several trends that I think will be very impacted. But when you look at where we are, uh, from a real estate cycle perspective, you have, as you've pointed out, um, probably 50 to $70 billion of loan maturities in the CMBS market that will be very difficult to refinance um, because of either falling values or um, LTVs that are not at the levels they were when these loans were originally made. And that's just one part of the picture. And I think that that is what's going to happen in 2012 and 2013 I think that number could double to almost $100 billion. At the same time, we're seeing a situation where, because of the Volcker rule and regulatory uh, practice, uh, the banks are going to be forced to change their capital re reporting requirements. And so many of the, the commercial banks that haven't uh, uh, securitized their loans but are holding them on their books will have to either put up more capital for loans that in the past they've been able to either extend or modify, or will actually start selling off those assets in order to build their capital base. So those two things create an opportunity to buy real estate at what I think will be increasingly attractive prices over the next two years. And we're of course in a historically low interest rate environment. So you can finance those purchases at long-term low interest rate loans. And we will come out of this. We'll come out of it probably um, in the next three to four years. We'll start seeing the result of some of the quantitative easing that the Fed has done and what's going on in Europe with global sovereign debt crisis. And what ultimately is going to happen is an inflationary cycle, not unlike what we were experiencing in the late 70s and early 80s. And so when you see the effects of that, you can buy low in the next several months. Um, be building up the asset value as we're coming out of that cycle into an inflationary cycle, and then be positioned to sell those assets, what I think will be the next high of the market, you know, in the middle to the end of the decade. Could you tell me what a typical transaction will be like for United Realty? Or sure. Transactions, if that's easier? So, so United Realty really focuses on two very distinct strategies. One of our strategies is to develop um, uh, core properties that generate cash flow uh, so that we can have an ongoing stream of cash. And, and with that, a typical transaction might be a 20 to $50 million transaction outside of the trophy market uh, where we can buy it at a capitalization rate that using 60 to 65% leverage might give us returns in the 8 plus percent range. At the other side of our spectrum is our opportunistic and value-added transactions. And there we look to not generate yield, but to generate multiples. And so, again, size of transaction, probably the same, 20 to 50, 60 million dollars. But transactions that are hairy, difficult, um, distressed, unfinished, need to be repositioned, need to be remarketed, need to be retenanted, we can come in and do what we've done so well over the years and generate um, successful repositioning of assets. One of the things you mentioned is that one of your investment requirements that you is that you want to be close to but not in the center of a core trophy market. Why is that? Well, it's really all yield driven. When, when you look at core markets, trophy markets like Manhattan or Washington, D.C., um, you end up 
buying assets at capitalization rates that aren't going to generate 8%, 9% returns. And so in order to get the return minimums that we look for, we go outside of those core trophy markets, but we try to stay within a surrounding geography not too far from them. You and your partner have a very long background in commercial real estate investing. What lessons have you learned during your career that are helping you in today's market? Well, I think the, the best lesson, and there's probably two, the best is that these markets are in fact always cyclical. Mm -hmm. We may be in an unusually long downward cycle right now, but again, that's what will create opportunities. But some people forget that we are cyclical, and so we will go through the down of the market, the acquisition, the ups of the market, the greed of the market, and the heights of the market. And people need to realize that at some point the markets will fall yet again. And so that's a lesson to be learned. And I think the more important lesson is that one must always remember the mistakes they made. And we spend a great deal of time thinking about mistakes, trying not to repeat them, and trying to um, dissect them to see how we can avoid doing them the next time around. You recently hired Lawrence Longa, who we know at Real Estate Finance and Investment in, through his work at NYU. Um, he also has a very long career as a commercial real estate investor. What will he bring to the table? Well, Larry brings wisdom and experience, a little bit of gray hair. Uh, Larry is uh, a senior advisor to our team, and uh, you know he brings a tremendous depth of knowledge. Larry spent not only years teaching in real estate, but he was a senior finance executive at many of the large banks. He was a president of the Mortgage Bankers Association of New York. Uh, he serves on two uh, publicly, public real estate investment trusts um, on their boards, and so he's an exceptionally knowledgeable guy. And when you marry him up to the team of executives that we've put together at United Realty, both those that Ellie and I brought from our prior companies and those that have joined us recently, we have over 15 very experienced, sophisticated real estate professionals with well over 150 years of depth of experience. And I think with Larry being able to guide that team, I think we have a winning combination. It's good to hear. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. And I'm Samantha Rowan, and this is Refi TV.